It's tough enough being a college student, but when cars break down and bills pile up for whatever reason, it's even harder to stay focused on staying in college. As Mike Johnson reports, that's the reason behind the crisis fundraiser at Anoka Ramsey Community College. Anoka Ramsey student Charles Osugo is on track to graduate with a nursing degree this spring. But last spring, it was a goal that was in doubt, thanks in part to the pandemic. We all didn't know what we were doing back in March. And with the crisis grant, my family and I, we were able to avoid being in a situation of food insecurity. Osugo says staying in school was not a certainty, but thanks to the help he received, he didn't have to pick up more shifts at an outside job. That time, that semester, it could have gone in a different way, but because of the crisis grant, I was able to stay afloat, not only academically, but financially, and that made a difference for me. School officials say it's a story that's more common than you might think. Students are, are juggling all kinds of things. It could be um, they're, you know, they're needing to get to work, so they have to pay for their utilities at home and um, to have a roof over their head. And, and sometimes it's, it's as simple as, as paying a utility bill. And that kind of financial stress could lead to a student leaving school. The Anoka Ramsey Community College Foundation has been helping with a crisis funding program for years. It started with a $2,500 donation back in 2004, but this past year they awarded $46,000 to students in crisis. The money can go for all kinds of crisis needs. It's students in need and, and we, we wanted to create a, an opportunity where students could go to a counselor, talk to them about their um, financial stress, and, and what's going on in their lives and be able to keep them on the path to um, educational success. Charles Osugo is grateful the help was there when he needed it. It was a safety net and I'm forever grateful to the school because of that. In a normal year, this fundraiser is held in person, but this year for the first time, funds are being raised in a virtual event called Making a Difference. You can find it on the Anoka Ramsey website at noon on November 19th. For North Metro TV News, I'm Mike Johnson reporting. The Anoka Ramsey Foundation will present a short program online. You can also donate online. Again, the date is November 19th at noon. We have the link on our website at northmetrotv.com.